Hey, what's up everyone? Ronko Pop back here with another video, and this week I thought I'd draw Moon Knight. It's a character I'm not really that familiar with. I know who he is, and I always thought his design looked really cool. But um, with the release of the Disney Plus show coming out this week, or at least the first episode, I thought I'd, uh, you know, tackle this character, draw him in my style, and I guess just talk about the first episode a little bit as I, as I go through this, uh, this speed draw here. Um... So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, like I said, I don't really know this character that much. It I always thought it was a very cool design. And I know, I guess, uh, the whole inside joke is that it is like Marvel's form of Batman, but like all white instead of Batman's always in the shadows. Moonlight was all white and like brightened up from the light of the moon or something like that. But anyways, the, the show was really interesting, at least the first episode. Um, very, very... You don't really know what's going on with the main character, uh, Steven or Mark. I, I don't know if, if he's supposed to have maybe like a dual split personality or something. But he, the the character is played by the Oscar, I can't remember his last name, but that actor Oscar who was in Star Wars. And his as far as his acting, is pretty cool, pretty good. He does that British accent. I don't know if anyone actually has a British accent accent that doesn't uh, think he's doing it very well but I, I thought it was pretty neat and it did, he had a whole different tone to his voice too as you saw later on in the episode like as Steven he's a very meek guy but as Mark he's like you know much more affirmative in his actions and his and his uh posture and his voice and everything so it was very interesting so yeah the uh, I enjoyed not knowing everything that was going on um, I know I maybe they'll come back to it, but as as the show went on, you know, he was like he goes to sleep and then he wakes up and he's like somewhere else. So uh, I didn't really understand what's going on there, and I understand that's you know you know it's part of the show. You you're not supposed to get everything in the very first episode, but then he has those blackout moments where it's like the second the split personality mark is taking over, and you never see what happens. So I was kind of, uh, you know, getting a little annoyed. I wanted to see the action scenes in those parts. So I'm hoping maybe in the future episodes that they they come back and maybe we see what happens. Maybe they don't, but at the end of the episode, spoiler alert, spoiler alerts, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the episode, he finally discovers, like, I don't even know what, what you want to call it. Like, he has this multiple personality and he lets him take over and Moon Knight comes into effect. But you only get a real quick glimpse at him. Uh, so it's 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 intriguing. It didn't put me off right away, you know, as to the whole storyline. I'm I'm am curious and interested to see where they go and how they how they do this, where there's like a split personality superhero, like the main one, I suppose, would be Steven, and he's the very uh, you know, doesn't know what's going on, he's afraid of everything. He's confused, and then the the one who's the the alter ego, Mark, is the one who becomes Moon Knight. So I'm interested to see how they change that, or not change it, but how they adapt with that and use that to like tell the story and have a split personality of like one guy wants to do this and one guy doesn't want to do this. I don't know if that's the direction they're gonna go. Uh, Ethan Hawke, I think that's the actor's name. He is a very interesting, you know. Uh, character it looks like he's going to be the villain for this series and he's this this I don't know what you want to call him religious cult leader who's following the one Egyptian god and he has that tattoo on his arm where he's judging people whether they're righteous or not it's a very interesting concept like I said I don't really know the whole the whole um storyline about Mark Spector I know the basics I know they kind of took some of it of from the from the comics where he I think he falls in a tomb or something something happens where he he's around that Egyptian god that's that's talking to him in this first episode and that's how he gets his powers somehow. So it is interesting those those uh those weird looking villain uh you know bad guys that were chasing him with the skull heads those were pretty interesting design and I'm I'm excited to see more of that maybe hopefully we get a better look at him and see maybe there's some type of like evil henchmen for the for the Egyptian gods that Ethan Hawk is serving. Um so we'll have to see what that's all about. But yeah, overall I kind of enjoyed it. I thought I thought it was good. I wasn't sure what to expect. Like I said, I don't really know the character that well, but 
I thought it was a pretty good job and definitely good acting. I mean, you can't fault any of them for acting. Those, those co-stars, the, the woman who works in the, the museum with Steven, she's, oh boy, she's really getting on my nerves. So we'll see why he, he I mean, he can't take that abuse from her just because she's his boss, right? Maybe there's a backstory there. I don't know. Hopefully that gets better. I don't know if it will or not. But yeah, like I said, uh, interesting concept. I am going to uh, give it a few more episodes and hopefully I like it. I watched the Hawkeye uh, series and I wasn't exactly thrilled with that. I liked it as a, um, what's the word I'm looking for, as a send-off to Hawkeye, you know, his last little mission or his final hurrah as as an Avenger. I liked that storyline. I wasn't exactly thrilled with Kate Bishop. The actress herself, I like her and I think she does a good job. But man, that character was so snooty and full of herself and like, oh yeah, she knows best. Let's do it this way. And I don't know. It just, it just, it was, it got annoying through the show. So it was okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call that show something spectacular, but this Moon Knight does look like it could be pretty good. Hopefully it gets, we get some more answers. Obviously we will. This is barely the first episode, but I'm excited to see, you know, what Moon Knight's powers are. Like I said, I don't really know about him. So I don't really know, like, his powers I know come from the Egyptian god. But what exactly those powers are besides, you know, the basic superhero stuff of, like, super strength and stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see what those are. And uh, I'm excited to see, hopefully, the the series plays out pretty good. Um, Yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please give a like and a thumbs up and all that good stuff. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the, the first episode of Moon Knight. Let me know if you enjoyed it, if you didn't like it, if you even knew about the character. Let me know about all that stuff in the comments down below. And hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I got some more videos coming out. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.